Hey guys, it's Mel here again. Um, I just thought I'd quickly touch on a few things um, about resources. A lot of people have been asking along with their requests that there's a few questions on what I use. For me, when it comes to going out and about, um, nothing is more important than keeping one of these on you, a USB. You can put things on it, you can take things off of it, store, back up, depending on how much you want to pay. For me, it's really a useful tool. I go to work, I go to friends' houses, I go to the shops. No matter where I go, I always see something, want something, to, want to give something, and it always ends up me relying on my USB. So, uh, this is very important to me. Um, as well as using this, I also rely heavily on Google Images, as weird as that sounds. I've got a lot of my resources from there and businesses are not silly these days they usually know uh, that you are looking on Google Images so they'll put a bit of a, a, a print over the top of the picture if you can find one that doesn't have that or you can airbrush it off the picture then that's great um, some of your more basic items here we go for me I guess it's quite normal to say you would have a glue stick I love my glue stick, use it quite often, and then you've got your scissors, and I also like to keep mini stapler in there as well, and also as much as it sounds weird in a pencil case, I like to keep a few paint brushes in there as well, it sort of comes in handy sometimes when I go over my bestie's house and she's doing a bit of painting and we might be getting ready to go out in a costume and we need some paintbrushes so I'm really happy I've always thought of bringing my paintbrushes. Um, other things that are quite useful to me are Faber-Castell um, coloured pencils. I find they're actually a really good brand. Um, I can use them at kindy with the kids, it's safe to use with them and it's also vibrant enough for me to use on whatever I want to do and also with textures I don't have the entire pack with me in here at the moment but I love my connector pens because they stay colourful for quite some time their life durancy is actually quite strong and they come in lots and lots and lots of colours um, but I find at Kindy it is so useful that they snap back all together again and you can put them back in your pencil case in one piece so that's always a good thing um, this is just a personal issue for me when I do go to people's houses and on the spur of the moment we want to make something or I'm over my besties once more um, I always love taking these little ink pads with me uh, this is another spotlight one I'll just try and see if I can there you go burst of colour this is a charcoal one, a black one, and it's very, very, very strong, so you can pretty much see it would go everywhere if you don't look after them. Um, but they're very versatile, and so instead of getting out all these trays and getting all your stamps out, you can actually cover this one square and use that to dab on everything. <coughs> and they're not that expensive either, they last a long time. Uh, so yeah, in that case, that's pretty much all I've got other than your usual um, pens that I always carry around. It's always good to have different coloured pens no matter where you go. Oh, I love that. It's a really big issue of mine. I, I always need a pen on me. I'm always forgetting my pens or pencils. And then you've got your things like your erasers and sharpeners. Um, when it comes to my scrapbooking room, some of the other things I like to keep handy on me is my trusty glue gun. What a coincidence, it's purple. I absolutely adore my, my glue gun. A lot of the time it's because we like making our costumes. Uh, or I'm working with sequins or studs. And a lot of people seem to think that it's not that good to use on drying things but along with my glue gun I actually do like to use my hair dryer some people get a bit worried about what a dryer would do to some acrylics but it doesn't really heat anything up 
it just dries. You can put it on cool, really. Uh, but for me, that's a really important tool, and I use it more in my art and craft than I do on my hair. So, yeah. Um, every artist needs their paint. So I can see where people are coming from with their different kinds of paint, but I actually prefer to just go and get your cheapy stuff. I've never come across a surface where I needed a specific kind of paint, but that's just me. You might find that's different. Some textiles like material, um, cotton and, and other different kinds of fabrics might need something specific. I just like to go to, again, Cheapest Chips and pay 2 $3 for this one called Semco. And it's pretty good. Lasts me a long time. I don't really need a lot of it. It's a bit runny, but that'll depend on where you store it. Um, when it comes to mixing my colours... I don't go out and buy those really fancy looking colour uh, mixes, your, your little easels and yeah, artist trays. I just get your classic meat trays when you're finished with them. I don't know whether or not you like to keep them or not. I don't keep all of them, I just like to wash them out and use them once or twice. This is what I was most impressed with. This is a, um, I was going to say Tim Tam, it's a Ferrero Rocher tray. So yeah, we uh, had a lot of chocolate that day. This for me is really versatile. I absolutely love using this. If you can be stuffed cleaning it, it's actually a really handy tool. I can keep as many colours as I want in there up to about three or four days if I'm working on a project. And um, I just glad wrap it. But it's really um, easy to mix all of my colours in there and keep as many as you want. So it's cool. Uh, there's not really much more to it than that, but it is, it, it's good to always have a bit of a muck around with what you own. It took me about 10 years to realise that I had enough to start my own shop up. And I would most of the time get a bit down about not having as many photos or projects to work on. But over time, um, I was patient and every time I'd go shopping and see a bargain, I'd just pick it up. And yeah, it started from there. As soon as I knew I could start making art, everything was right at my fingertips. So it does take a bit of patience uh, and a bit of routine maybe. If you really want a working art room, it's good to know where everything fits. For me, once I know where I've put it, there we go. I love using these coffee jars. I own a lot of beads, as you saw in my last vlog. I love making things with beads as well and I used to buy a whole heap of, heap of dividers but they would take up way too much room um, this is quite easy to use I don't necessarily keep the lid but my plan is to I usually take the stickers off put all of my beads or whatnot in there and put it up on the wall and then I've got the floor to work with because I'm a really messy art worker so yeah, they were really good. Um, the last little bits and pieces I wanted to show you are what I store some of my flatter surfaces in, like my sticker sheets. Um, I, I adore collecting alphabetic stick, stickers because I find them everywhere. That That's something that those cheapy stores have really invested in. They realise that people are always after alphabetic stickers. So I buy these plastic cases that just work like that and you can store as much as you want in there really I've got quite a bit in here I've got at least 50 sheets of stickers in here and these ones are for things like this that's a really popular one right now you might actually have to ask for the name of a I, I live in an Adelaide area Oops. here we go so that's one of them. Another one I like to collect from Spotlight, again, is um, these little diamond tees. These come from Spotlight. They're about $3 for a square. And I love using them. For those who know me, I am also a face painter. And I realised after a while I was just using them on my scrapbooking as you're supposed to. But they stick really well. And so if you saw in my last vlog, I was actually wearing a couple on my eye. They're really useful to use. Um, they also come in a range of 
words. This is Princess. I love that one. And they come in colours. And they come in... Hang on. They come in shapes. So that one's an actual pearl one that I used on the mermaid wand in my last one. So yeah, they're actually really quite easy to use as well. They don't hurt the children. It doesn't leave a mark. Um, and if it falls off, like they don't usually care most of the time, but when they get home they can keep it. I, I usually find that they stick it on all their stuff. It doesn't ruin anything. And once again, you've got your case and they file away like a library. So yeah, other than that, that's pretty much all I've got. Um, you'll find as you go along, you've got your own tastes in what you gain. And it, if you start getting your compliments and, and having people ask for your stuff, you'll find that you will become very flexible and versatile in what you own and what you buy and what you use. And one day you might even start making blogs of your own. I really hope that you do find the confidence to do that. Lots of people still are a bit about it. Uh, I certainly was. Um... But for now, I'll keep it at that. There'll be more to come. As I said, if you put in your suggestions, I'll start doing what I can. So I hope to talk soon. Okay, see ya.